You are watching Dogyard Musings, and I'm Monica, and today's video looks a bit different. I usually don't do vlogs, but today I'm doing something special. I'm vlogging a trip I recently did solo in New York and Boston. Someone asked how my solo trips are going, and I thought it would be fun to kind of invite you guys in on this solo journey. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't bring my mic along with me because it's so big, so I thought I'd do a voiceover. So hopefully this works. I had never gone on a solo trip before, and this was quite a departure from being afraid to go to a cafe alone, and I was nervous about how this trip was going to go, but I'm so glad I went outside of my comfort zone, and I honestly loved it, and I feel really lucky that I got to experience it. I went to some amazing places, ate some really good food, and got to meet up with some really great bookish friends. I'm so glad I got to meet up with both of the cats and Ivana. They were awesome tour guides. But please forgive me about this part of the video where I get cheesy. So with solo traveling, you can't help but hear yourself think, which is kind of scary because a lot of my internal monologue is, well, scary. And between the mental spirals and overthinking, I couldn't help but think about how I wouldn't have gone on this trip without books. Maybe this is oversimplified and reaching, but reading has really been a tool that has helped me grow and embrace new adventures, and specifically in finding the joy in making my own story, maybe making an attempt at gaining some main character energy. This is the year of main character, Monica. When I think of the main reason of why I fell in love with reading in the first place, I am always drawn to memories of sitting with my maternal grandpa, my tata, as he told me stories. He would tell me stories from the Mahabharata and about him in his childhood growing up in India and about my mom and my aunt growing up in Queens. I think I mainly love reading because it reminds me of that connection that I had with him and it's that continuation of storytelling. On this trip, while getting lost on trains, shopping at new shops, buying way too many books, and seeing all sorts of beautiful libraries, I thought of all the stories I was going to get to create and how all the times a love of stories and books has helped me in building a community and finding joy in shared experiences. Reading has helped me look within and outside myself, provided comfort, and also put me in situations where I felt like I fit in while also taking a chance and creating new adventure. Whether that's seeing adventure in the day-to-day, -day, in the mundane, or taking a step and taking a chance into something that is the unknown. It definitely had me thinking about what I qualify and quantify as an adventure. I guess I always think about adventure as something new and always think about adventure as doing something big and daring, but I guess in doing this trip, and maybe it's silly that it took me going all the way to New York to have to see it, I guess adventure can also be embracing the mundane and just seeing something that you would normally do in the day to day in a different angle. So here's to making more adventures and reading and making more stories and meeting up with more amazing friends, even if it's about the same old breakfast you have every morning. This has been Dog-Eared Musings. I'm Monica. Happy reading.